right, hello everybody. Um, I'm just gonna wait for Dr. Kim to jump on. I am jumping on to interview the author of one of my very favorite books, The Mind Body Toolkit. Um, this is her first edition and she just completed her second edition, um, which went, I believe it went live yesterday. So it's available on her website and on Amazon. She is hands down one of the most knowledgeable people I know when it comes to mind body medicine and teaching people how our state and our thoughts um, really dictate you know, the, out the outcome in our life and influence our health. So she's going to jump on and talk a little bit about what we can find in the book. Um, one of the things that I love most about um, Dr. Kim and what she does in this book is that there's no denying, it's now brain science, there's no denying that our thoughts and our emotional state have a massive impact on our health. We know that, science has proven that. But very few mind-body experts are really talking about, you know, they're giving us the what, we, we know that, but they're not giving us the how. They're not teaching us how do we think differently? How can we get into this more positive state so that we can finally achieve the health goals and, and live a truly, um, healthy and happy life. So in this book, she goes over 10 tools to instantly increase your energy, enhance productivity, and even reverse disease. And Dr. Kim is actually um, a board certified physician who was an emergency, um, I think she was trained in emergency medicine, and she developed an autoimmune. And so she got out of emergency medicine just knowing that that fast paced lifestyle was not <laughs> helping her at all. She got out of that, hi everybody jumping on. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, she got out of that and she got into mind body medicine and she has had a massive impact on this world. And me, I had the privilege of um, going to one of her retreats down in Arizona this last fall that was absolutely life changing. And when you're with Kim, um, she truly embodies all of, you know, this positive state. And you can just tell she's just, um, she's really thriving. She's a really, really neat person. So this book gives you 10 very, very practical tips on how to change your mindset. A couple of my favorite um, sections are when we think differently, we create an entirely different life. And she goes into all the ways that our body is listening to every thought that we're thinking and it's responding. And so when you're thinking, you know, you're looking at yourself and you're saying negative things about your body, your body is responding, your cells are listening, and our body is literally becoming what we say and what we think it is. So when we think differently and we speak different words, it has a massive impact on our health. Um, she says the voice that has the greatest impact on your cells is your own, and she talks all about kind of uh, positive self-talk and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, it is, I'm just waiting for her to jump on. She just messaged me and said I'll be on in a minute. There she is. Hi, Dr. Kim. Hi, beautiful Kate. How are so you? So good to see you. I'm so great. I'm great. I'm a couple minutes late, so sorry about that. You're good. It gave me an opportunity. I was just telling everyone about this book a little bit, the first edition, and about you and your kind of who you are, a little bit about your bio. Uh, we were just getting to how did you get into mind body medicine, Dr. Kim? Of course, I know, but a lot of my followers don't know that you were trained in emergency medicine developed an autoimmune and that kind of took you to mind body medicine kind of so what actually happened was even before i went into medicine i had always been really intuitive and fascinated by how the body works what's going on inside me how my thoughts affect my physical body which for me was like oh i was aware of that at a very young age i could yeah feel my body physically like jump if I'd start thinking about stressful thoughts like my father we had a really tension in the relationship and I'd feel my body like relax back into you know a soothed space if I thought about relaxing things and I was like well this is crazy I'd immediately see my body just literally like jump off the bed I was like this is incredible but you know of course there wasn't really anybody to talk to about that at the point i was at so yeah. i i definitely wanted to like learn more about the body understand the inner workings and bring this awareness to the forefront of medicine where i think we're just looking at the tip of the iceberg thinking the body is purely physical when the body is actually electromagnetic the body is vibrational so um i went on then went to medical school i studied everything i could about 
mind-body healing, the mind-body connection. And it was then when I developed this autoimmune disease that I had to like really put put it into action. Yeah. But it didn't, you know, the more I tried to heal myself, the worse I got, the more complicated things got, the more convoluted. And I was like, this is not right. What am I doing wrong? And I didn't realize like, I'm not the one healing myself, like yeah. plug away. I can only allow the conditions that let healing happen. Yeah. So it's more of like an allowing than a doing. But this really changed my life so powerfully because after like a year and a half of trying to solve it, you know, I was told, you've got this disease. Here's what you've got to do. You'll never be the same again. And I was like, I don't think this is true for me. Like, yeah. that's not my truth. Yeah. And that was literally when like the other shoe dropped and I stopped trying yeah. and I finally listened and I was like all right body what is right about this I'm not getting what do you yeah. have yeah it's so powerful and so many of us who are and it's so natural to try when we're suffering we're you know we're experiencing anxiety or maybe it's chronic pain or maybe it's a chronic illness whatever you're experiencing it's it's so human to try and to try yeah. to do all the things and to try to be positive and try to look at life a different way but that's what I love so much about this book is so much about you know, how we heal ourselves is just embodying those positive emotions and really getting out of our own way and stopping all the trying. Because the trying is really, talk about how the trying Kim is resistance. I think yeah. it's hard for people to understand that. Oh, yeah. Well, you resist, persist. And I like hated that I had this severe pain, yeah. hated that I felt so tired. I was scared. So there's all these big emotions. I was really scared of the chronic fatigue. And it was yeah. like, even talking about it, <gasps> no, yeah. the bad thing is going to get me. So it was like, wait a minute, what is all of that? So now I was trying to like overcome the problem, fix the disease and you actually put are putting energy into both it's two sides of the same coin you're putting energy into i have this big scary problem and i'm powerless against it but let me try really hard and do what i can so now i'm like running this hamster wheel yeah. that was the thing for me that made my body get worse and worse yeah. so what happened finally you know i was walking along the beach i had this conversation with myself i was like i know i'm ready to step into something higher so part of it is like going beyond everything you think is true. Yeah. The reality that I thought was true, like this is how things go and I've got to make it happen. That was a density. That was hard. That was like life's going to constantly be an uphill battle, but I've, you know, if I work hard enough, I'll overcome and I'll never have to meet my own feelings of inadequacy. I'll never have to meet my own yeah. fear of, of failure. And it's like, no, what you resist persists. There's yeah. so much energy going into the, I actually feel like a failure, but if I achieve and be, I'm a good student and go and be a good doctor, then yeah. I won't feel that. So yeah. it's the same energy. Yeah. So I had to finally like surrender. And then you feel the feelings, right? Yeah. Yeah. They'll just wash through. Emotions can move through in like 12 seconds yeah. if you have the willingness to embrace them exactly as they are. Yeah. And I love something I learned from you too is whatever's going on, whether it be pain or maybe you've got a chronic skin thing, who knows what it is. But if you look at what might be underneath that, like you said, maybe a deep feeling of inadequacy yeah. or fear and you move toward that and you really feel that it moves really quick. And then we heal and we're not in that resistant state, just can't break out. Yes. Well, I did this uh, 100 days of doing an hour of meditation a day. Like I knew for me, Kim, the only way more can show up in your life is more of you showing up. Meet yeah. yourself more fully. So I did this. And I would see these densities come up of like feelings of fear, feelings of urgency or whatever. And like five or ten percent. And they were really like <gasps> that if I were going about my life, it'd be like, let me go do this. Let me go fix that. But I'm like, no, I'm going to sit. I'm going to breathe in and I'm going to breathe out. And yeah. that is it. And yeah. so it would literally clear, like it would resolve, it would move, I would embrace what's coming up because yeah. what else are you going to do? Yeah. And because of the presence I was cultivating, just sitting and closing my eyes for an hour a day, and then the breath of just like, it's all you got to do is breathe, a lot of energy would move and so many cities would clear. So it's crazy how much that happens instead of like creating a problem. It's, it's so true. And right now what I'm seeing with a lot of my clients with the holidays coming up and all the stress, everything that's going on in the world right now, 
people are really being, you know, really critical of their bodies. They're wanting to control things. And it's just amazing when you see that is sort of the distraction for the fear, the deep fear that's really, really there. And their need to focus on, I've got to lose this weight and I've got to get rid of this pain and I've got to reverse this. Oh. Really there and move toward that. It's amazing how fast we move through. Can you talk a little bit about that, Dr. Kim, how these yeah. things come up? And like you said, the need to control and change and work harder is really just a distraction from kind of feeling that deeper. Yeah, we're taught not to feel what we feel. <laughs> yeah. It's like we had the parenting to model it. We have the society to model it. But these energies get stuck in the body. So if you're like, you know, whether it's last year and you had your heart broken or it's like 30 years ago when you were a little kid, it, it doesn't matter. These energies get stuck in the body. They're densities. They literally get stored. And until you're ready to expand beyond that, it may never even come up. So you're like, all right, I've got to be a good girl and not piss anybody off and, and do it the way I'm told. So like you stay in that container and you grow up, you're like, I'm getting the grades I'm getting in school. I'm doing this thing and following the rules. And then there happens to be something where you're like, this is not fulfilling and I've got yeah. to go outside the lines. Yeah. That's when it will come up. That's when you'll feel the fear like, no, 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 no. I can't do that. I've got to stay in this job. I can't go and do that thing. I've got to keep doing it this way. And sometimes Sometimes people won't consciously question it. They're like, no, I, I'm not even looking. Yeah. But the heart will keep asking like, but I want to be in this kind of relationship or I want to do this kind of work or whatever it is. And when we don't answer the call, the body physically breaks down. Yeah. Like literally that energy cannot move. We're meant to be the yeah. full expression of who we are. So it's like, oh, I'll just live from here up. Everything's fine. I'm yeah. doing okay. And you try to pull it off. But then you're like, why don't I have enough money? Why don't I have enough energy? Why is my body gaining weight? Why is everything out of control? You're accessing like 2% of your energy to conduct your life because like 98% of your energy is going into the suppression yeah. so that you can pull it off. Yeah. Yeah. And the suppression is what I know in my life, nothing has, has moved the needle more or shifted my health and happiness more drastically than just becoming aware of all the ways that you're just suppressing all that stuff. It is so huge. And I love in your book, you guys, she's got the um, instant elevation technique, right? Kim? Uh, the, ABCs, I use it all the time. So A, A is awareness. It's amazing. And then B is breathe. So rather than, you know, you notice you're not in a pause. Maybe it's fear that's taking over. Maybe you're feeling really agitated. Okay, so you're in a place that doesn't feel good. So what do you do? You become aware and then you breathe. And when you're breathing, you, you feel what's really there. And as soon as we feel it, we move through it. It's incredible. It's so yeah. powerful. Yeah, and you've got to do that aware first because... If you're just like breathing, oh, I just don't want to feel this or whatever, you know, A, B, C. C is your conscious choice. Most people are just doing that. Let me exercise more. Let me yes. eat better. Let me do this thing yes. to make this change because they don't want to do A. They yes. don't want to be aware and actually feel and embody yes. the energies that are coming up. Yes. But the fact is like that is if all you did was A, it would transmute. Yeah. And then, you know, you're going to breathe more easily. You're going to choose more consciously. That's going to happen. Yeah. You have to start with presencing and bringing your energy, your attention into your body yeah. to feel what's coming up. It's amazing. And when we look at all the ways that we allow ourselves to be distracted, I know for me, between Instagram and eating and just all of the, even thinking, thinking is a distraction from feeling how we're really feeling. I've got a lot of clients or I'm trying to, you know, incorporate some, breathing and meditation and some of them are like I, I just can't my this feels weird and all this thoughts yes. and whatever and it's okay they're all kind of designed to keep you from feeling maybe that deep-seated fear or inadequacy or whatever is really there but just that the power of practicing just yes. feeling is so powerful it's yeah, that second one and the and here is the abc tool it's called the instant elevator and this is just a mini version. It's super easy. But set your alarm and do it three times a day. And yes. your attention back into your body, physically soften and breathe more fully. And then you'll see your consciousness will shift. Like 10 breaths. Yeah. Your consciousness will shift. And you'll have like idea, download, clarity. Yeah. And see happens from that deeper space of like, how can I nurture myself more fully? Yes. Now, what can I do to make this go away? Like, yeah. 
Because when you nurture yourself more fully, it is what creates healing. It is what makes pain completely dissolve. It is what brings energy and vitality. Yeah. It's so amazing. You guys, this book, the, I was just telling before you jumped on, Kim, the reason I love this book so much is there's so many, you know, mind-body experts out there talking about the what. And we know it's proven by science. Like, we know this stuff that our thoughts and our emotions have a massive impact on our health. But there's very few that have really simple, practical steps laid out that are so easy to learn and apply Wherever you are, you can be, you know, wherever you are, you can remember your ABCs. There's so many tools that I use every single day to help change my state or make me aware of, you know, when I'm not feeling at ease. It's just, it's so practical and easy to learn. So Kim, what's in the second edition? I just ordered my... Oh, the second edition talks a little bit more about the electromagnetics of how the heart affects everything in the brain. And the reason I'm glad we added this piece in is... A lot of people understand that your beliefs affect your reality. Your thoughts and your beliefs are constantly sending messages to every cell. It determines your whole experience in your body. But the thing a lot of people don't realize is it's not about I've got to change my beliefs. i got to put a new template in there. No, when you do something as simple as relax your shoulders and breathe into the space of your heart, it ignites an electromagnetic message. The heart has the most powerful electromagnetic system in your body, and it actually repatterns what's happening in your brain. So it does it for you. If you remember, my body is a healing machine. When I remember that, I can just kind of like surrender, yeah. let it do what it's going to do, because yeah. I determine how do I create my urine to detoxify my body better how do i make the blood pump through my vessels and deliver more energy but i can do some things and this is like 10 tools you can use anytime that allow of that to happen better and that's what science has shown is that all of these things of how your body's designed to be healthy to be vital um can be greatly enhanced by your own presence to what's going on in your body. And these are just some really easy ways to ignite that. Because like you said, you know, I'd read a ton of books. And then when I was trying to heal myself, it was like, wait a minute, what the heck do I do? Yeah. I know heal itself. Why isn't this working? What am I doing wrong? Yeah. I didn't have the kind of how-to book for like, here's yeah. this way to let that ignite so that it can do the work for you yeah. and heal the body. It's so good. I literally, I think I've told you this before, I read it, I devoured it in one sitting, and then I read it again. I read it seven times in a month, and I refer back to it. It's like, it's so practical. I refer back to it all the time, because again, if you don't, you can't figure out the how, it is in this book. It's just amazing. <sighs> Somebody asked, Kim, how do I relax my body when there's just, you said, how, or she said, how do I soften and relax my body when there's just so much tension there? Yes, yes. And I think someone else asked too, how, when I have, when I can't feel what's going on in yeah. my, I don't know where that was, but I want to yeah. look at that because that was a really good question too. Um, so when I think it was like when I've dissociated or something, yeah. Yeah. so what happens a lot. We have been literally trained not to feel yeah. what's going on inside our body, not just our emotions, but even like physical sensations. So when we first start to tune in, a, all the stuff we've repressed and suppressed is what's going to come up. Yeah. So like, no, no, I must be doing it wrong because now I'm feeling all this bad stuff yeah. I don't feel. No, no, no. That's actually all the tensions releasing and coming up. So better out than in. They yeah. make unconscious and you're like, no, everything's fine. I'm doing okay. But they're still there actively creating your life. This is some of the stuff I put in the second edition is like how your electromagnetic field creates what's happening in your life, yeah. how, how much money you make, what's happening in your cells. So if I'm willing to just practice it way, like I'm tuning in, oh, I don't feel anything. I'm tuning in, oh, I feel something bad. Okay, just like keep doing it. It's yeah. that it yeah. working. Yeah. You know, there's numbness. You're noticing, whoa, I, I really have been feeling my body. Yeah. Don't get wrong. Don't go into I'm trying to feel my body. I can't feel my body. So something's wrong. No, just actually tune in like, oh, wow, I'm like not feeling 90% of my body. Okay. Because what we've seen is the brain has neuroplasticity. It has designed itself around what you're currently in, which is shut down. Yeah. To not pay attention to that information, to not feel your pelvis, to not feel your belly not feel 
everything happening that yeah. could be a lot of good information for you. So when you start to tune in, your brain will change. The first thing that happens is it starts firing in a new way. And then later, as you continue, you become aware of that information. For some, it will happen really quickly. For others, it might be a week, 10 days. Keep tuning into, I'm going to put my attention in my body, and my pelvis, my hips, my belly, my chest. I'm going to let myself feel that. So yeah. then if you physically touch your body skin on skin, it can ignite that even faster. Yeah. It's it wrong yeah. what up when you start. I think that's exactly what it is. Like you said, is whatever you're feeling, whether you're noticing your, your thinking, <laughs> obsessive thinking, or pain in your body, or tension in your body, when we make it wrong, that's when, every, that's when we resist even more, we cause more. The pain gets worse, the tension gets worse. Yes. How do we just let it be, Kim? Give if us some all, if, if, if all you did was soften 2%, so yeah, there's physical tension, and you're like, whoa, I tune in, all I feel is there's so much tension, right? And you're not like, I have the ability to let this go. It's a pattern. So you just stay present and soften where you can. Like maybe you can just 2% soften your shoulders. Yeah. Maybe you can just relax into your belly 2% more and bring your attention to the breath there. Usually we're breathing through the upper chest and it activates all these muscles and tension and then it increases. With every breath, we're just building more tension. So give yourself 10 it's to like, well, let me unwind that. I was on an Instagram live with VV, this really cool woman, the other day. And she's like, oh, my God, every time you say soften your body, I realize shoulders are here. And she said, I just did it. Like, however many times we did it while we're talking. And I realized when I softened, it was fear. Huge. Sometimes we'll be aware of it right away within 10 minutes keeping our awareness, sometimes it may take a few days, but I promise you, if you physically soften your body, 2%, just, all right, let me relax my mouth. Don't try to relax the whole body, and then you're like, but the tension, I'm doing it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pattern, so you got to help it unwind. When you do start to soften, you're going to feel a lot more. You're going to have a lot more awareness. Let it come up. Find a little compassion for yourself. All right, I feel grief. I feel fear. Just do it in little 10 breath increments. Yeah. Be 10 breaths now. That word soften has literally changed my life, Kim. I hear you all the time, just throughout the day, just soften. And when you soften your body, your brain responds and vice versa. You know, when you're softened and kind of relax your thinking, your body relaxes. And so they work together. And if you can just think, I mean, set an alarm on your, I did this right after this book, and it literally just said, soften your body it would go off 10 times throughout the day. And I had no idea the tension I was holding in my body all the time. And as soon as you soften, oh my gosh, it's like, it's so powerful. Yeah. And then you feel a lot of the things that you're like, oh, I'm yes. so I don't feel my fear. So I don't. I'm doing my whole business so I don't feel inadequate. And then you realize, like, wait a minute. What if I just meet that feeling? And emotions can move in 12, yeah. but I've got to be willing to make some space for them. And now that energy is no longer running my business and running my body. Yeah, such powerful stuff. And I truly believe, I know you believe this, Kim, but this work and these small shifts, add up over time and they are so much more beneficial and I have been in the health and fitness industry for 15 years I've done all the gut healing regimen I've done it all there is nothing more powerful when it comes to improving your health and if you want to you know change your body reverse the disease whatever it is than this stuff right here and this book just gives you exactly how to do it you guys I can't even tell I mean it is I, I just leave this by my bed, and every time I pick it up, I get something even better. I'm like, I thought I'd already read this seven times. It's that, it's that good. I buy the book. It's at drkimd.com for the book, and there's a special for 99 cents on Kindle. If you want the Kindle version, that's 99 cents throughout the week, uh, or you can get the hard cover or the soft cover. It's at drkimd.com forward slash book. I think people will really love it. I can't wait to read the second edition. I just ordered... Mike, Kim, thank you so much for doing what you do. You're just, you're changing so many lives and I am unbelievably grateful for the impact you've had on my life and now through me and my clients and followers. So thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad to be here.
sending lots of love to everyone who's tuning in or watching the recording. I know a lot of women um, struggle in our bodies. We've taught hate our bodies, taught that they're supposed to look different than they look, and we buy it. And even though we suffer, we keep buying into it. But yeah, well, your body is just a manifesting machine, and you do have unbelievable power. So even if all you remember from this is soften, just two percent soften and breathe more fully, to let a lot more life come through your body, yeah. change brain works, you'll begin to start realizing things you never imagined before. It's so true. It's changed my life so much. Somebody just said they bought it as a gift. That is an awesome. I'm going to put it in my gift guide, Kim, because it's such a gift of just yeah. transforming people's lives and health and, and really their mental health right now. We could all use as much help as we can get with everything yep. going on. But it's, a, it's a massive thing for your resilience. And right now, like staying healthy, avoiding, uh, you know, any virus and things like that. It's big medically to be exponentially more essential that your own alignment your emotions how what's happening within you um, is, is what's going to keep you healthy or determine you know whether you get sick and something happens yeah. not a vaccine not a medication not whether you protect yourself and isolate like yes I'm anything about any of those things great do whatever you're going to do and no this has been shown to be exponentially more powerful than any of those things have ever been shown to be so st study after study after study has shown this people reversing all kinds of diseases because your body's immune system is more powerful than ever created so if you find how do i activate yeah. that that is the real skill that's the real asset <laughs> it's so powerful and just like you said just that word soften is just soften yep. and the whole immune system is like thank you i can actually do my job <laughs> it, and that's why we added that piece there about if you understand like your body is a healing machine and these electromagnetics are really doing way more than you could imagine it helps you surrender more oh this is a powerful tool i'm gonna have this be my go-to fear protect thing i'm putting energy into and trust more and access more power so thank you for hello to Mora. I, I i'm so glad to see you out there i would love to know who is yellow back himalayan because i've seen you so much out there um and hello to everyone else is here live um someone's asking how can one heal from schizophrenia and psychosis a lot of times there's a rearrangement in the brain that has us like not integrate this quote reality the way most other people are doing i had myself like a massive kind of mental rearrangement when i was much younger and downloading a lot of this awareness that i'm not just my physical body i am vibrational um and so it can throw us off a lot and then all the medications that go on top of that to Control it can be a big issue just know you can come back yeah. to more and more clarity um, healthy functioning and alignment mentally so I would definitely a hundred percent be yeah. tools it's huge there's not a person that cannot massively benefit I'm getting one for all of my family members for Christmas it's that good I will put the link you guys in my stories just so you can get right to Kim's website so you can order it. and then it's 99 cents right now on Kindle Kim Yes, right now for this week, it's 99 Okay, so. That's a steal of a deal. It's a life-changing book. Kim, thank you so, so much for coming on, just spending time. Though somebody said, I feel better already. I'm like, welcome to hanging out with Kim. <laughs> She's amazing. Thank you so much for connecting this way and sharing the book. I love you. You're awesome. Love you too. T take care. Happy holidays. Bye. Happy holidays. Bye-bye.